New tonight, no charges will be filed against a school bus driver involved in a deadly accident. 27-year-old Christian Montes was killed when the bus crashed into him and his car on Holland Road last month. Eric Kane is live in the newsroom, and how was Montes' family reacting to this? Well, Regina, the family's attorney says he was surprised and confused by the city's decision not to press any charges, but he says the family is ready to move forward with a civil lawsuit against the Virginia Beach School District. Over a month after 27-year-old Christian Montez died after getting hit by a school bus, the Virginia Beach Commonwealth's attorney met with his family, telling them no criminal charges would be filed against the bus driver. Involuntary manslaughter is very, very specific. There has to be evidence of a callous, reckless disregard for human life. And that just wasn't there in this case. I was a little confused. Montez's family attorney, Gary Byler, says regardless if a felony charge is filed, the driver should still be cited. I can tell you right now, we have 20 or 30 cases where people are stopped on the interstate and rear ended. And the standard operating procedure is the person who hits them is given a ticket. According to the police crash report obtained by 13 News Now, Montez's Ford Escort was disabled in the middle of Holland Road when the bus full of kids hit it at 45 miles per hour, the legal speed limit. Montez was standing outside of his car when the bus ran over him, crushing his chest. It happened early in the morning, and Bryant says forensic experts could not determine if his car lights were on. Bryant says surveillance video proves the driver was not distracted and there was no evidence of a criminal act. I have to decide what is correct under the law. I'm not going to abuse the criminal process just to please some personal injury attorney. Byler says the driver should have been able to see the car and know how to stop the bus in time. We will be, uh, we will be pursuing a civil action. We are hopeful, as most of my clients, that we do not have to go into court. We hope that the Virginia Beach School Board will do the right thing, and that is to compensate, compensate the Montez family for this tragic loss. Now, we did reach out to the bus driver for a comment, but we were unable to reach him. Montes is survived by his wife and two young kids. Live in the newsroom, Eric Kane, 13 News Now.